Welcome to another video and today I will showcase how you can make an entity follow a set path in Minecraft. So for a little showcase as you can see right here, uh, the um, NPC is moving this path. So I've added some extra features which makes it kill me when it sees me. But I'm going to try to avoid this guard. And if I make it, uh, I'm going to try to make it all the way to the end. So if I avoid this guard's sight, I will not get killed. And as you can see, I made it right. But if I try to get killed, like this, I'm gonna wait for him to turn this corner, and I'm probably gonna get killed. So, as you can see, I was in his line of sight, which means I got killed. That's just like an extra feature I made, just for the fun of it. If you guys wanna uh, see a tutorial on that, uh, I can make that in another video. Uh, but today I'm going to showcase how to create a set path the NPCs slash entities um, mobs whatever you want to call it follows let me just break this guy so as you can see they're mo moving in the set path you don't have to be gold blocks all you have to do, uh, really have are these magenta glazed terracotta blocks so um, yeah, I'm gonna get right into what you need to do. So, you can also call this a conveyor belt, a belt if you really want to. But the first command, execute uh, as at E. The reason why I did family equals to mob and type equals to not Armistead is that I did not want uh, the uh, this conveyor belt to uh, intervene with some of the other command block stuff I did in this world. And I didn't want to get teleported myself or get moved myself on the conveyor belt so I only did a mob but if we um, remove this in every command uh, it will work on me and entities so instead of having what I have right here you can just do at E basically so just rem you can just remove all of this if you really want to but anyways at S aligned Z positioned blah 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 and you get TP'd basically so that's for the first second is uh, this um, third this and fourth uh, this so you just have to pause the video and you can write it down whatever you want to but uh, to show how you can set this up basically all you have to do yeah so to set this up if we place um, uh, these magenta uh, glazed terracotta in this or or this or this or this direction right is going to move in those directions basically so all you have to do is place the uh, blocks or the arrows facing the way you want your entity to go and after that all you have to do uh, for it to uh, to finish like the product or finish the so it actually works is you place a block above the uh, magenta glazed uh, terracotta so you can cover it up right place a block above it and now it's basically finished. So if we spawn a cow there, it's gonna move that way, move this way, or that way. And you can make this, um, make you make like circles. So if we do like this, or circles, more like squares, really, um, just like this. And now uh, play some blocks. Can be any block, by the way, any block you want. Gold, just any block in general. Then you place a mob, and it's going to move all the way around. And you can make this for um, plenty of things, like for example I showed you previously the guards, which uh, killed me on site, or like something else. You can make the, you can do whatever you really want with this. But yeah, that's how you make um, some basic movement pa like patterns kind of thing. So, as I said previously, you could just remove... Uh, these uh, family equals to mob and stuff this so to showcase what that looks like when I remove this I'm just gonna remove it real quick so I'm gonna remove this and if you're gonna do this you have to do this in every command exactly the same just do IE basically so um, let's do this in every command so when I do this it's gonna work on me work on items arrows Basically anything it will work on. Anything that's not a block or something like that. So now I made it work on anything. So it will move me as well. 
it doesn't look that smooth as you, as you can see uh, maybe because I was flying but look it's not that smooth it works but you can't look around so it's kind of <coughs> doesn't work that well because you can't look around but yeah as you can see it could work I can fly out of it so if you're stuck in the cycle you can just fly up and you will get out of it and it also works on ar arrows as I've said <laughs> it looks kinda weird or items which could be helpful if you're trying to make a map or like a conveyor belt or something like that oh got dragged by it but that's basically it and you can just make your own patterns own movement yeah and that's all pretty simple only f um, four commands to actually make this and it works quite well I would uh, so say myself um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys later uh, yeah goodbye